Hi, I'm Makeda, Content Marketing Manager here at MPB Brooklyn, and today we're going to be talking about changing the rules. We can agree that the artistic and compositional rules of photography are there for a reason. Or can we? In this video, we will look at trusted photography techniques and then put a creative spin on them. We will show you how you can take your photography to new heights by tossing out the rule book. In most rule books, a photo's exposure must be precise. We are taught that a balanced mix of highlight and shadow most accurately portrays the scene as it was in nature. But darkening the exposure by one to two stops allows for shadows to really sing. The colors rendered can now become a part of the narrative. I am using a Canon EOS R6, a mirrorless full-frame camera packed with both NI and LCD live viewing. Who doesn't love a moodier portrait? By brightening the exposure by one stop, you can achieve a warmer tone that works really well for lifestyle shoots. This technique creates a fine focus on facial details like the eyes and dazzling teeth. We've all heard of the rule of thirds. Using a 3x3 grid, subjects are positioned at the top two third points with ample headspace and plenty of eye line to the right or left. So what if we broke this rule? Let's center the subject and maybe play with the headspace a bit. The result is more dynamic, conveys emotion, and ultimately creates an image that tells a different story. We are taught that no good photo can be framed if limbs are cut from the frame in awkward places, like at the joints of the arms, the knees, ankles, or even sections of the face. This rule is understandable as psychologically the missing limbs create cognitive dissonance in the viewer, which can be uncomfortable. However, when this rule is broken well, a cutoff can imply rebellion, distraction, or playfulness. Many beauty photographers use long lenses like the Canon 100mm f2.8 macro to zero in on details, and when done correctly, you rarely notice. Street photographers often move too quick to compose perfectly, but there is beauty in an imperfect frame, so long as focus is nailed. Sure, this general rule makes a good point. Viewers want to see the subject, and the background should stay in the background. However, flipping this rule on its head actually yields interesting results when done correctly. Perhaps the subject is looking into the background or in motion, or maybe they're silhouetted and anonymous. Depending on the intention, you can create a photograph that evokes a number of emotions by swapping the focus and exposure to the background. Shooting from below or even the floor is typically frowned upon. Nobody following traditional rules wants to see what's going on up your nose. So this angle can actually yield some rather interesting results. Grab a wide angle prime lens like the Sigma Art 20mm f1.4 to get some crisp yet distorted portraits to invoke a bit of excitement. If you learned something or unlearned something, let us know down in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. I am Makeda and we are MPB.